well, we left um, Cabana Veronica this morning. It was very bad weather last night, so it was real good that we that we found our way into there. And uh, so we left there this morning and we set off this way, heading north. And this is another cabin here, another refugio. Uh, refugio Uluru or something like that. <laughs> I think it's one of the more famous mountains of Spain. El Naranjo, I think, maybe. So, yeah, beautiful. Another good day for it, uh, the weather. And, yeah. And, so we've got to descend now from here about, uh, what was it, 1400 yeah, meters? 13, 1400, something like that. Yeah, so, <laughs> quite a, a, a big descent down into the, the valley there, somewhere or other, into a place called Bulnes now, which uh, is supposed to be, once we get there, I think that's about two hours away. Um, once we get there, um, we'll decide whether we stay the night in Bulnes. Oh, from there, I think where we park the car is an hour away, so we'll we'll just see, see what we feel like. So, yes, it's all good. Uh, this is like the, we're in the central massif now of the Picos de Europa. Uh, and and I, I think maybe that's the highest mountain in, uh, in the Picos de Europa. Yes. Uh, that is what I should have been doing. Get the uh, donkeys to carry the gear. Because uh, sometimes it's just uh, it's just way too much. But uh, yeah, beautiful. Boonas, I hope we've had enough for today. It's just mucho caliente, it's too hot. And this path's terrible. It's an ankle breaker, this path. It's, it's, it, it's getting a bit better. Ah, anyway, 
Look how pretty all this is. I don't know whether you can hear running water down there. There's a river that flows down, which is very hard to come by in the Picos de Europa. You, we, on, our, on the tr trail we've done, we've seen very little water. You know, where you can fill up. They have some at one, one or two of the refugios. Uh, so you've really got to plan your water out. Uh, so, yeah, I got a bit dehydrated yesterday and uh, because I had to ration my water because I knew it was two days almost before I'd get some more, a day and a half. Uh, so I got a bit dehydrated. Uh, uh, and in walking in this heat is uh, is difficult. Uh, oh, it is for for me, my English skin. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this is the next little town we're going to, Bunez, and then there's another little town up on top there. Uh, so we will be staying here and. Maybe getting a hostel for the night or camping or whatever. Uh, I need to find El Bar, have a couple of cervezas, and see if there's any fruit. Shit! I'm dying for some like fresh fruit, you know, a watermelon or something, pineapple, anything like that. Just something really nice, juicy fruit. So I have fingers crossed. Okay, I'll see you in town. Easy, Paro. Easy now, kid. Easy now, you. Easy now. Are you messing about? Are you messing about, are you? Yes, you are. I know, I know you were going to bite. I could tell. Got a nibbling on you. Yeah. Uh, I knew it.